John Bracamontes here with Acumen Studio. Ready to go this morning, got the rock star as usual, always zero calorie. And I wanna to talk to you today about data, okay? I'm getting, I've seen a lot of different uh, discussions around this, people debating me on it. Here's the deal, here's the deal. Those who are, are focused on creativity and thinking through you know, what it is as a person to, to engage and to like something and to interact with something and to want something, that's perfect. I totally agree with it. I love it. I love the, the romantic side of it all. I love the gut feeling, that instinct, that visceral attraction to something, right? But here's the thing. It's data, okay? That's all data. A lot of people knock it, but it is everything. Here, here's what happens, okay? The thing, the way we feel about something is based on experiences, based on cultural norms, stuff that's happened over the past, things that we want from the future. But if you were to ask those questions, why is it, what happened, what do you want? That's a data point, that's a data point. We look to psychologists and we look to people who've done research in the past. Guess what they did? They researched, which is data, data, okay? Think of a song that makes you happy, makes you cry, makes you, uh, inspired. There's a reason for that. And when you get to what that reason is, that, my friend, is called data. Okay? Best, best practices in UX, UI, design, they come from data. They come from looking at how people engage with something over some period of time. And it changes over time, right? So <laughs> the search engines and social media give us this information on history, on present day, and then we can speculate for the future. But again, it's all speculation, right, for the future. But at some point, that future becomes present, it becomes past, and it becomes data, and we use that in the things we do. So today, what do we have, right? We use Google Trends, we use social media, we use keyword tools in our own first-party keyword sets of user behavior that we can track, right, data. If I hold, uh, if I ask someone any kind of a question, it's data. If I mm, get a feeling on my own and then become self-aware and try to dissect why I felt that way, it's data. <laughs> looking back at the history uh, through research, looking at what exists today using bodies of data work. It helps. <laughs> any innovation, anything new, any, anything that is seemingly genius is coming from data. It's, it's, even if it's breaking out of the, the typical thinking, coming thinking outside of the box. Well, to think outside of the box, there has to be a box, which is data, okay? That's, that's what I'm talking about, okay? So we use all of these tools to identify what it is that people used to think and feel about something, how they looked for it, how they answered these questions for themselves. And then we look at how it's done today. And, and we can say, you're still optimizing in a way that's declining. It's outdated. There's still volume, so let's still be there. But now you've got trends that are showing things going up. So let's focus on that. And we use data to do that. Why is a body of copy better than another? Data. Who says a textbook, which is filled with data, which is based off of a bunch of data points. So again, I'm gonna say it one more time, data. So just start mapping your customer's journey, identifying the steps they take to convert, figure out why, ask questions, map the behaviors for yourself, make estimations, make assumptions, prove if they work or not, test, data, data, data. That's what we do. Acumen Studio, acumenstudio.com. Look us up. Let's have a conversation. I love it. Post a video. Come back at me with, with your point of view. Okay? It's data. It's information. Information age, right? Acumenstudio.com. Thanks.